Mexico's beloved Grande Dame of Death, a stylishly attired skeleton named La Catrina, her grinning skull topped with trademark hat, has company in the market stands here, Hollywood extraterrestrials, Batman and other superheroes, along with sundry witches and monsters. Raidas Baratas Diaz Pesos, announces a vendor holding a bundle of plastic rodents by their long tails, each selling for 10 pesos, or just over 50 US cents. Cheap Rats In Mexico, customs originating in Europe and the indigenous world often meld in a surprisingly seamless fashion. So it is with Halloween http colon slash slash www.latimes.com slash topic slash arts hyphen culture slash Halloween hyphen FFES 000167 hyphen topic dot html, a tradition born in Europe and transported here from the United States, and Day of the Dead, a Mexican remembrance of the deceased with pre-Hispanic origins. The two holidays, Halloween on October. 31 and Day of the Dead two days later, have fused here into a multi-day, sometimes surreal celebration and a bonanza for piñata and mask makers, costume fabricators and bakers specializing in sugary offerings for the departed. At the sprawling Sonora market here, the final shopping days are frantic. On Saturday, Mexico City held its first Day of the Dead parade, a runaway success that saw the route through downtown jammed with more 250,000 people many in full Halloween mode, decked out in skeleton regalia, their faces painted like skulls. The inspiration was pure Hollywood, last year's James Bond movie, Spectre, featured a stunning opening scene of an imagined Day of the Dead street festival in Mexico City. Officials moved to turn fiction into a marketing jackpot, creating an extravaganza of stylized death to draw tourists and showcase the Mexico brand. Across all social strata, Many Mexicans dress up for Halloween, also known as Noche de Brujas, or Night of the Witches, then prepare altars known as ofrendas for deceased ancestors and loved ones. My mother liked to put up very big ofrendas with a lot of decoration, says Alejandro Diaz Fernandez, 46, a school bus driver who has arrived at Sonora Market's auditorium, a room the size of an airplane hangar, to load up on chocolate skulls, incense, and marigolds. The orange flowers, known as Champasa Chill, are ubiquitous in the run-up to Day of the Dead. Those items will be placed in a home altar for his mother, who died two years ago, as well as one for his late brother. The family also is looking for a Halloween costume for Diaz's four-year-old daughter, Sofia. She chooses a vampire outfit, despite her mother's preference for a witch get-up. As the family browses, a recorded announcement on a loudspeaker informs shoppers that the market can provide all their needs for the two holidays, listing everything from candy skulls for Day of the Dead altars to fake blood, Frankenstein jack-o'-lanterns, and spider webs for Halloween.
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to channels.